Welcome to Functional Horsemanship. Today I'm going to talk about some saddle guns. I get asked occasionally what kind of, what kind of guns I carry when I'm up in the mountains back in the, in the, in the back country and, uh, or what the best overall gun is suited as a saddle gun. Uh, technology, weapons technology that's suitable for carrying on horses hasn't changed in about the past uh, about 160 years. In about 1860s when they started first building lever action rifles and this model right here is a reproduction of an 1873 uh, Winchester and uh, it hasn't changed. This is a reproduction manufactured about 15, 15 years ago. Uh, sometimes I carry this gun. This is in 357 Magnum uh, so it fits the same uh, the same cartridge as I carry on my on my belt gun here. It's a good little gun to carry however it's really only suited against uh, coyotes and small game like that so I don't carry it very often. I just thought it'd be handy to have a Saddle carbine, short barrel, 16 inch barrel, uh, one that fits in a scabbard and nice and flat, doesn't have an extended magazine, uh, still best suited for uh, carrying on horseback. Another gun I sometimes carry is this uh, long barreled 4570 lever action from Marlin. Fires a, a big old cartridge suitable for bear or elk or orcs. And I've carried this gun on horseback several times when I was uh, guiding or, or leading some some orcs hunts uh, back up in the up in the mountains there. Uh, but I don't carry it too often because it's pretty long and I can get by with a smaller platform. The gun I carry most of the time is an 1894 Trapper model Winchester, 3030. It's an old caliber, uh, but with modern day cartridges, especially from Hornaday. Day. Corner Day makes a round called the Lever Revolution, 150 grain bullet going uh, uh, considerably faster than the old 3030s, uh, puts it in near three weight performance. Again, nice and flat, 16 inch barrel. I carry it up in my scabbard right here. Lots of different ways to carry this. What you want to do is make sure you ain't poking the horse, make sure you can get it while you're on horseback, and make sure that it's not too much bulk underneath your leg where you can't use your lower legs and your spurs to uh, give the horse some cues or signals. You know, so again, Winchester, model 1896, 3030 caliber, Trapper model, 16 inch barrel, is a very good gun for the range, decent caliber all around. Uh, most of the predators uh, that I'm going to face out there are in the four-legged kind anyway are going to be maybe a rabid coyote, feral dogs, maybe a mountain lion. but. Uh, that's more than sufficient to deal with them. And I think uh, a lever action, either a modern lever action, like an 1896 or an older one, an 1873 model, is uh, very well suited for smaller game and, and of course, can provide some protection against uh, some of those aforementioned varmints. And then if you're going to be going after some big game, or certainly in bear country, you may want to consider something a little more powerful like this 4570. But the 4570, a lightweight rifle like this, even though it has a long barrel, it's going to be a bear to shoot. And uh, I'd only consider taking this up on horseback when I'm going to either uh, big game hunting like elk or oryx or if I'm going in some bear country. Hope this helps you uh, uh, for me explaining uh, some lever guns that are, that are suitable for carrying on horseback. Again, that technology hasn't changed for about 150 years and it's still suitable for today if you're riding back up in the remote, remote part of the country. This is Functional Horsemanship, Safe Journey.